Mola Ran is by far the most iconic Indiana Jones villain, but is he actually a good character? The Temple of Doom is widely received as the weakest of the original trilogy, but is its villain a high point or just another reason for the film's negative reception? The dude steals more hearts than Elvis, but what score would I give him 1 out of 10? On the 191st episode of Villain Review, we find out. Soon we will have all the five Shankara stones, and the thuggies will be all powerful. I got two words for your world, domination. It's maybe the most popular villain motive of all time outside of like, give me some money, and Mola Ram isn't an exception here. I'll admit it's kind of a fault with the franchise that every villain just wants power or money, but I will say this one is at least just, just a smidge different. Ram doesn't want power for his own sake, but rather in the name of the goddess he worships Kali Ma. In his eyes she is the one true goddess and he has to take over the world and destroy all the other gods like he's Kratos or something. He does that by collecting the Sakura Stones like he's Thanos because they give him power and Kali Ma wants them or something like that. I don't, I don't know, don't ask questions. It's the most interesting motive in the franchise, but it's still not amazing. When you add he only really mentions this goal in one scene, it comes across a lot more like an afterthought rather than an important part of the character. We don't really know why he cares so much either. I think another layer of context to the character would have been really cool. Why does he care so much? How was he introduced into this religion? Why is he drawn to it so much? I think that would have been really interesting. Apparently there's like a book or a comic or something that explains it, but if it's not in the movie, I'm not counting it. Those, those, those are my rules. I'm just saying, my rules, my show. Don't believe me? You will, Dr. Jones. In a franchise where the villains are white guy in suit, white guy in suit, white guy in suit, white guy in suit, white girl in kinda suit, Mola is easily the most unique villain. Every Indiana Jones movie has a supernatural factor, but none tied so closely to the film's villain like this. The dude has the power to just rip out hearts like he's Marley and me. And he even has like this naughty potion to trick people like his last name's Huxtable. Amrish Puri plays Rom and he helps make the character evil, but someone that really enjoys doing it. I think some of the Indiana Jones villains can feel a little bit bland, but because Ram is sadistic in his enjoyment of the evil he does, it makes him stand out so much more. He smiles when people are tortured and his design light years better than everyone else. Better than yours, that's for sure. Mine too, M mine too, I'll admit it, mine too. All the other villains just wear the same beige or gray suit, but Ram has bright reds, a necklace of like shark teeth or something like that, and those giant ass horns on his head, they instantly make him way more memorable than a lot of this franchise's villains. Puri is expressive in his performance and seems to be having a lot of fun in making this guy as evil as possible. It's also really refreshing to have another faction aside from Nazis, or Russians, or just bad guys in Europe. These guys feel so much more unique and interesting because of their design, but also how they fight. They're manipulative, they use magic, and Ram is the forefront of creativity in Indiana Jones villains. Aliens might be a, just a little too far for us, but Ram and the magic he uses is perfect. Also, like, is this god real? I'm not sure. I mean, the stones are clearly magic. The hypnosis works. And in what other religion can the guy just be like, hey, I'm gonna rip this guy's heart out. And then he does it. He might actually have stood a chance of converting people if he wasn't such a jerk about it, you know? The human sacrifices and child slavery. Come on, guy. We don't mess with that. Like, dude needs a way better PR team. <laughs> The heart stealing scene is one of the most iconic things probably ever, but especially for this franchise and it makes sense because it's awesome. It sets up the thuggy and ram as a new and intimidating threat and it gives us a reason to be scared for our main characters. Short round, watch out my guy, you're gonna get your heart snatched right out of you. Just like how you snatched all of our hearts. The hypnotic juice scene is pretty creepy actually and again the fact we watch him put Indiana through so much makes this guy stand out for how cruel he is. Indy has no chance to escape, but still tries his hardest, and with Oscar winning short round force to watch, it's an even harder scene to bear. Once Indy actually turns to his side too, you're like, damn, uh, maybe we're screwed. Especially if you didn't know this was a prequel, like I feel like most people don't. Short round has to put the team on his back because Willie, 
Uh, she ain't doing shit. We all know that. The scene where Rand is going for Willie's heart shows how ruthless he is because he says, nah, 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 nah. That's too easy. Let me make her brainwashed friend lower her into that fiery, fiery demon hole of hellness. That would be way funnier. The dude only has like four scenes in the movie, but they're all some of the film's best. Two of the franchise's most iconic moments coming from him. He's a villain who isn't around much, but makes the absolute most of the screen time given to him. He's evil for evil's sake and delivers some crazy, just wild, ruthless moments too. That I think makes him one of the most memorable parts about this movie. And, and Shorty, of course. Willie, uh, uh, yeah, next, next, next part. Ram isn't an incredible villain, but it's incredible how effective he is in this movie. He's such a fresh of breath air in this franchise, personality-wise and design. It also helps he's the most interesting threat Indy has ever faced, aside from old age and bad CGI. He's just evil, and while his motive is kind of surface level, the magic of Ram and the thuggy is actually pretty interesting. He gets the job done and is something I think everyone can agree the movie got right. I'm gonna give Mola Ram a seven. Thank you so much for watching. New villain reviews every single Monday. Next week's is going to be real spicy. Uh, yeah.